Fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been out there. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see your way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Alright. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. 
That's all I can ask of you. You want to mingle, go try the... Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard the wrong. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees, and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his Adams be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. What's on your mind? I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. What's on your mind?
Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. You're safer in. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Hey. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, yeah, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacer's chaw, few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the Resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout, prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Searching for repair bay? 
Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Navigation systems have determined this location as Spacer's Choice. Designated Mechanical Repair Bay. Attempting to misdirect or confuse a Spacer's Choice Mechanical is a punishable offense. Please report yourself to your supervisor.
behind you.
Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one, and the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer, a weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop.
Carry on. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we... I don't know you. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. <sighs> Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Go ahead. I don't see how that's any of your business. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. <laughs> Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you gonna pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero G? Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. You're one of those freelancers then? Running about Halcyon, selling off your loyalties to the highest bidder? Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three-drink minimum. Coming right up.
Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Suppose I did. that serial drama they were playing it just the other night what was it called the last spacer you're right i don't believe you i'd advise you to keep that story unsaid don't want people thinking you're a loon we'll get you do you now and what makes you think mr top you want to talk to mr topson try ignoring your duties he'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the camp It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? Edgewater. Jewel of the Veil. Vale. May the law bless our beloved cannery with a hundred years of, uh, what's it called? Productivity. That's the one. Yep, that's us. Productive. Oh, it's fine. I I'm only on my third bottle. I don't start heaving up my guts as long as I can count to three. Company lets me imbibe as much zero-G brew as I can afford. Even gave me a discount on account of my injury. You jealous yet? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. Hey! Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what were... 
There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. Don't tell anyone, all right? Well, excuse me. If you die horribly, Something got you down? Nothing. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Somebody deserving. Silas on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Technically, I'm employed by the... Somebody's been running around, talking to... You what? Does it feel good? Betray a man in his final hours? So, you're just here to... Something I can do for you? You run into any... Reliable work from a freelancer? That's gonna take some... Then I'll buy you a drink sometime. Huh. Suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? What? No. If I knew... I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Yeah? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big... St Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing. Easy. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-g brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you.
Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but... Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, 